Reality star Kristen Cavallari is living her best life in Nashville, Tennessee with her kids. Last year, following her divorce from former NFL star Jay Cutler, the mom of three purchased a $5 million estate not too far from her former family home, and it's a modern farmhouse with two structures on the property. Prior to this, Kristen and her ex Jay lived in a 25-room lodge-style mansion, which took them about two years to sell, at a big loss no less. And today, we're going to take a look at a few of her Nashville area homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kristen Cavallari is a reality TV star, fashion designer, businesswoman, and more, who rose to fame in 2004, starring on the MTV series Laguna Beach. Later in life, she was given her own reality show based on her life, Very Cavallari. And aside from TV, Kristen has found considerable success with her fashion brand, Uncommon James. At the time of this recording, she's amassed a net worth of about $30 million or more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at the Nashville estates Kristen Cavallari calls home. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. First up is Kristen's former family home where she and her ex-husband Jay once lived, an Asheville mega mansion that looked more like a resort or a castle than a house. The ex-couple had been trying to sell this home for almost two years and finally unloaded it in 2020 for $3.7 million. Unfortunately, that price was at a major loss. Kristen was asking $7.9 million at first and the pair purchased it in 2012 for $5.3 million. The 25-room mansion had some Mediterranean-inspired touches in the design, which we can see on the exterior, while it sat on a sunny hill surrounded by thick woods. Inside, the mansion spanned almost 20,000 square feet of space, with seven bedrooms, seven full baths, and three half baths. Outside, the property was just as sprawling, occupying 8.56 acres of land, which the former couple loved for the privacy. Fans of Kristen's reality show Very Cavallari will recognize the inside of the abode from the first season of the series. Inside the impressive mansion boasts thick wood beams, stone fireplaces with five fireplaces in total, as well as Brazilian cherry hardwood floors for a rustic feel. Three level residence is full of living and dining areas and once inside, you'll see the great room with soaring ceilings, double height fireplace and French doors. Nearby, there's a formal dining room and a cozier den with TV beside the kitchen. The high-end kitchen was huge and perfect for Kristen since she loves to cook for her family and even has her own cookbooks. Here, there were goodies like stainless steel appliances, two islands, one for meal prep, and one with snack bar seating, as well as a sunny breakfast nook. There was also a library that featured two levels and full walls with built-in blue bookshelves, along with French doors out to a terrace. Kristen's former mega mansion came with two large master suites, one of which had two floors and a sitting area, also leading into another lounge style room decked out in an all white color palette, right down to the floors. According to listing materials, the other master bedroom boasted a sitting area by a fireplace and ensuite bathroom with double sinks and a built in tub. Honestly, both of the master bedrooms are impressive, but which would you choose? I think I'd have to go with the two level one. Kristen and her ex also finished the basement level of the mansion, adding a full wet bar perfect for entertaining in a home movie theater. This level had warm inviting vibes and also offered a wood paneled lounge that could definitely double as a man cave. Out on the grounds of their former mansion, there was a partially screened and covered patio opening to a stone terrace along with grassy lawns and another outdoor dining terrace with fireplace. As beautiful as this home was, Kristen hadn't lived here in a while. The ex-couple bought another 10-acre estate in nearby Franklin, Tennessee in 2018 and then dropped over $1 million on the neighboring 35-acre piece of land, which we'll check out next. Just weeks after Kristen put that mega mansion on the market, she and her ex Jay purchased a luxury hobby farm in a celebrity-loved neighborhood just outside of Franklin, Tennessee called Leaper's Fork. 
The former couple spent about $5.4 million in total on a lavish yet casual and family-friendly farmhouse mansion on 10 acres of land as well as the neighboring property creating a 35-acre massive spread. While the family lived here for a while post-divorce, it appears that Jay kept this abode while Kristen purchased a new home in the same area. This farm-like property was situated on a high point of a sunny hill, giving the estate the name Highbrow Hill and it boasts views over the grassy landscape. Inside, the mansion spans 10,307 square feet of space with eight bedrooms, eight full baths, two half baths, and a picturesque porch at the front. While it was a downsize for Kristen and this mansion had the vibe of a traditional farmhouse, it was still like a suburban mega home and full of high-tech updates and luxe amenities. There were hardwood floors, beamed ceilings, and elegant ceiling moldings throughout. The wraparound porch was huge and provided a relaxing space to look out onto the rural property, while the front entry had soaring ceilings and a crystal chandelier and led into multiple open plan living spaces. There was a music room with baby grand piano, a massive living room with stone fireplace, and a dining room with seats for a dozen guests. The country kitchen wasn't as large as the one at Kristen's former mansion, but it boasted dark wood cabinets, a butcher block center island, and it was still super stunning. Elsewhere in this fancy farmhouse, there was a finished lower level with rec room and wet bar, as well as an ensuite guest room. The other bedrooms were spread throughout the home and one included a private sitting area, while Kristen's former master suite was in its own private wing with a steep vaulted ceiling and a boatload of space. There was also a super impressive ensuite bath with multi-head shower space and add-ons like a mirror dressing room and balcony. The peaceful property had numerous porches and terraces as well as gardens and a tranquil pond out back, all of which was surrounded by woods. Kristen's former farm was complete with an equestrian barn, fenced pasture, chicken coop, sheep barn and a goat shed. While Kristen's ex Jay kept that beautiful farmhouse, the mom of three snagged a new estate nearby in 2020 for over $5 million. At the time, there was some drama when Kristen wanted to buy the new abode, as she said her ex was trying to stop her. But it seems she ended up purchasing the place. Her current estate is also in Franklin, Tennessee, close to she and Jay's former residence. This home boasts 88 acres of land, including a full mile of riverfront property, and inside there are 5 beds and 4.5 baths throughout. Kristen's mansion has a total of 6,911 square feet inside, and aside from the main house, there's a second residence on the property. We can see her home boasts a large front porch with a swing that the star sometimes uses for photo shoots, while other outdoor pics reveal there's a barn on the property too. One of the hallways has a round archway with amazing exposed brick walls and the kitchen is perfect for Kristen, offering plenty of space for her to cook. There are white cabinets, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and a large island. Considering Kristen has published two cookbooks, of course she spends a lot of time cooking up a storm and is proud to show off her kitchen in videos and on social media. She also added copper accents from her Uncommon James line and she has a junk drawer just like us normal folks. There's a walk-in pantry that Kristen fitted with a wooden ladder to reach the higher shelves and elsewhere in the kitchen. There's a separate beverage bar with wine and a barista style coffee maker. One living room in her mansion boasts floor to ceiling windows overlooking the serene property while another has a stone fireplace and more walls of glass. Kristen has been private in terms of sharing bedroom photos within the home, but we've seen her luxury master bath that has gray parquet floors, white marble vanities, a walk-in shower, and natural light. Outside, aside from the porch that overlooks the farm, we can see that Kristen also has a chicken coop at her new home, just like the mini farm she had at the last estate. Kristen's described her decorating style as traditional and rustic, which we can see, and mentioned her home's interior is... Inspired by my travels, my love of simplicity, and the beauty of the landscape surrounding us. We've now looked at three homes past and present of Kristen Cavallari, so I think that concludes this house tour. Honestly, all of those mansions have a similar charming and rustic vibe, so I found it hard to choose a favorite. I loved the exterior of the first mega mansion since it looked a little bit like a castle, but the interiors of the farmhouse that Kristen's XJ is still living were unique and super stunning. The rooms in that mansion are all different and had a ton of character. Not to mention, Kristen's current property is beautiful as well. We just haven't had a chance to see all of the personal touches she's put on the place since moving in. 
After seeing her three Nashville area homes, which would you choose? Or what were your favorite rooms in particular? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. That's it for this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all next time. Bye.